What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. So there's been a little bit of ruckus on Twitter this morning. Um, so I wanted to cover it and give you guys uh, my feedback on it just so you guys are aware and uh, what's going on pretty much. So um, this new Twitter account here, as you can see, their name is Athenus Dev Team. Have a pinned tweet here from 17 hours ago. Untethered code execution working on iOS 14.4.1 and that's on the iPhone 6S. So I wanna cover this just to make it simple for you guys so you understand what it is and what's going on, at least to the best of my knowledge. Um, I don't claim to be any type of jailbreak developer. I do not claim to know iOS security and how, it's, how it works. I just know jailbreaking and I've been jailbreaking for 11 years now. So I've, I've tried all the different types of jailbreaks you can imagine. Now, it's very interesting, so I don't want to knock the dev team at all. I don't I don't want this to be seen as negative. Um, but one of the users here d does demo this code execution, so I'm going to show that to you guys now. So basically what is happening here is he's just showing that it's on 14.4.1, and now he is performing a hard reboot to this iPhone. And you guys will notice that when it boots back up, the Athena's application i don't know jailbreak app maybe who knows does run automatically and it's triggered from the hard reboot which is like i said very very interesting that it does this so we wait for his iphone to boot up as soon as he enters the passcode and goes into his device you guys will see the athenas notifications from the application there you can see it code execution and a bunch of other notifications. So, I mean, this bug or whatever process this is or whatever kind of exploit is being used here does seem to be legit. Um, and then he just goes to show that it's 14.4.1 and it's after a hard reboot. So it's just kind of proof. So this does seem pretty damn legit, if you ask me. Um, but the phrasing is a little inaccurate. It is a form, I guess, of untethered code execution, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this an untethered jailbreak by any means. Now let's just think about this. Um, how, how could this be useful for me? I don't see how it's really useful at the moment. Of course, this could be, you know, developed into something that I have no idea. Um, but to me, let's say we were to implement this, this process into the uncovered jailbreak. So essentially what's happening is. Um, he's re doing a hard reboot on his iPhone and it's triggering a jailbreak application to run a jailbreak essentially. Now, with the way that Uncover works is when you run the Uncovered jailbreak, it it you know does its process and then it still has to perform a reboot on your iPhone or a, a respring of sorts or whatever it might be to to put you into the jailbroken state. Now, if we were to use that with Uncover, it would be really kind of pointless because then you'd have to do a hard reboot to trigger a jailbreak to then again reboot. And to me, to open up an application and just click jailbreak is much easier. So I, I find the name to be a little deceiving, but it's still, like I said, I think it's very cool that there is something. I do want to say though, if you guys want a jailbreak, I would, I would definitely not update to 14.4.1 just because this says it works on that firmware. If you're on 14.4, Definitely stay on 14.4. If you're below that on 14.0 through 14.3, definitely stay there because you have a current jailbreak. And if uh, you guys are on anything newer than 14.4, I would downgrade while you can. It's always best if you want a jailbreak to stay on the lowest firmware possible. That is the best method. And it's super easy to stay on a firmware. All you have to do is go into general and go to software update and you can churn automatic updates off. Just churn that off. Every once in a while, your phone will not let you know that there might be an update to your firmware. Um, you can just deny all that and it'll just, it'll stay as an update in settings. But if you have this off, it will not update until you tell it to do it otherwise. Now, I wanted to touch base a little bit more on the phrasing untethered because I feel like um, not a lot of people know exactly what, 
what the phrasing untethered, semi-untethered, tethered, or semi-tethered stand for. What what do they mean exactly? And I, I just want to clear this up because I've been, like I said, I've been jailbreaking for I think about 11 years now and I've seen every type of jailbreak you can imagine. So I did do a quick Google search because that's the easiest way to just explain to people sometimes. So as you can see, untethered jailbreak, a type of iOS jailbreak that allows a device to boot up jailbroken every time it is rebooted. This does not require a re-jailbreaking process. The only way to get rid of a jailbreak is by using the process to restore the device, okay? So back in the day, and this is like the messiah of jailbreak. If you guys have never experienced an untethered jailbreak, it is pretty damn sweet. Uh, basically what you do is you jailbreak your iPhone for the most part, it was on a computer, and once that device was jailbroken, it was forever jailbroken. There was no, there was no going back unless you plugged it back into your computer and did a restore on the iOS firmware. So you'd have to physically restore the firmware to unjailbreak it. It was basically a permanent jailbreak. And if you guys remember, for the OGs, there used to be tweaks and stuff that you'd have to actually do a, a reboot in Cydia in order for the changes to take effect, like boot logos and stuff like that. So you used to have to actually reboot your iPhone to actually have changes take effect, which is pretty crazy. So um, this is, I would consider this is still semi-untethered. So semi-untethered pretty much means um, it's like the, the uncovered jailbreak where you can just download the app and then you can jailbreak it on your iPhone. I think that semi untethered is definitely better for newbies just because if you screw up in the jailbreak tweaking or something like that, you can do a hard reboot and your device still operates. Back in the day, if you downloaded a bunch of faulty tweaks and you basically crashed your device, you couldn't get out of the jailbroken state. You literally had to do a restore and then start over pretty much re jailbreak it and then install the tweaks that way. It's very handy that nowadays Uncover has like a restore root file system and, and CheckRain has that as well, where you can restore your root file system and uh, pretty much fix your file system if you break it with tweaks and stuff like that. So I think semi-untethered is definitely more stable. Um, untethered is is the messiah. And then there's, there's tethered and then there's semi-tethered. So CheckRain is a semi-tethered, meaning to put your iPhone into the jailbroken state. You would have to plug it into your computer and uh, use the, the utility to put it into a jail, jailbroken state. And then once you do a hard reboot, it comes out of the jailbreak, uh, the jailbreak mode. And then again, you have to plug it in. And then tethered, tethered's, oh man, I, I remember using some tethered jailbreaks. Those things were freaking scary. So uh, basically um, you're tethered to a computer. So if, if your iPhone were to reboot, you would have to use your computer to actually boot it back up. I believe it would still remain jailbroken, so it would still boot up jailbroken, but if it, if your battery died, you would have to go to your computer to boot it back up. It was such a pain. It was it was definitely cool though, just because like I said, uh tethered, you're you're still indefinitely jailbroken. It's just when you boot up your phone, if it ever died, you would have to use the computer to physically boot it up. Otherwise, it would not boot up on its own. So that's the differences between the jailbreaks. I just wanted to touch base on those because I feel like a lot of people over time forget exactly what the jailbreak terminology is in terms of semi-tethered, semi-untethered, etc. So um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, again, like I said, stay in the lowest firmware possible. Uh, I think the terminology for this um, jailbreak or whatever kind of bug or exploit or whatever is being used here is a little inaccurate and a little deceiving to read um so you know just take note on that but i'll keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been jeremy and i'll catch you guys in the next one later